Hey guys, welcome back. Today in this video, we'll be taking a look at Carbon Room version 7, which is based on Android Pie. Carbon team have made this officially available to public, and now it supports many devices. So without further ado, let's get started. So I've already installed it on my OnePlus 6. Let me show you the software information, settings, about phone, Android version. Here you can see Android version is 9.0, Carbon Room version is CR 7.0 which is based on Pi and the security patch is 5th April 2019. Officially supported device have been mentioned on the XDA forum. Link will be given in the description below. You can download it from there. Right now I am using it on my OnePlus 6 and the ROM seems to be pretty much stable. So this will be the first look of your ROM. You have lots of customizations related to launcher where you can customize the home screen, icons, app drawer, directly you can hide applications from here. Then we also have few customizations related to recents in which you can enable rounded corners. Then we have few gestures available wherein clear all from recents view. So here you can directly clear all just by dragging them down. This way you can clear recents. Then we have notification gestures and few double tap gestures where we have options of screen off flashlight and google search. Room does not have much of customizations like Resurrection Remix and Havoc OS but basic stuff like Volti services, notification slider, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, everything seems to be working fine. Room does not include google camera but you can download from the description below and install it right away. But there will be issue with the portrait mode so what you have to do is you need to go to settings, go to advanced go to fixes and change the raw format to default by default it will be on raw underscore sensor you need to change this to raw 10 that is default change it to this and restart the application your portrait mode should work fine few customizations can be found here that is under carbon fibers best part of this room is they have added features like aggressive battery mode and a newly designed performance vendor so under system you can find options like smart pixels which will help you in saving little bit of battery juice then we have option of aggressive battery here we have aggressive idle then we have aggressive standby and auto enable on battery saver mode if you enable aggressive standby this will restrict all the background applications then we have few screen off animations in which CRT is my favorite one Then we have few options to customize the status bar which includes status bar items, battery icon, battery percentage and you can also change the position of clock. Under lock screen customizations we have scrambled pin keyboard, secure unlock, music visualizer and media art. Under buttons you can enable navigation bar if you want and here you can also control your device using hardware buttons like volume button for answering calls and screen of playback control. Under gestures we have gestures like carbon gestures where you can add the multiple fingers so minimum I have set to 2 and here you can change the gestures like I have set down gesture for volume mute so you need to use 2 fingers for this and the volume goes to mute. Then we also have double tap to sleep on the status bar, double tap on the lock screen to sleep. You can also enable swipe up on the home button. So these are the few customizations available on this room. Under ambient display we have options like always on display, pulse notification and pocket mode. In this room team have also added DU theme engine. So here under themes we have automatic, dark and light. All the themes are working fine. Here we also get this option that is use black theme. So if you enable the device will completely change the theme to black which also supports setting menu and app drawer. Few pre-installed essence color are available but you cannot customize them. Under sounds we also get option of pixel sounds from where you can choose this and select the sounds which are available on pixel devices. If you want you can also customize the notification slider. Chrome also supports OTA update features so if any update available you can just check it from here and download it. 
So this was a quick look on Carbon ROM based on Android Pie. Now let's take a look at the benchmark results using Geekbench application and Antutu Bench application. With Geekbench application, single core have scored 2404, wherein multi core have scored 8895. And Antutu Benchmark application scoring 310932 which is the highest among all the custom rooms I have ever used. It also beats the Oxygen OS. So guys, this was all about Carbon OS. If you have any kind of questions, you can let me know in the comment section below. As of now, only this much in this video. Hope you like the video. If you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. Also, if you are new to my channel, then do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.